Hello everybody, this is Starman, and welcome back to the final chapter of Buck Hates RPGs, A Man vs. Rock Experience. Well, we just beat up the rock again, and we're in a small village of some type. So we're going to go to the end, get ourselves a hand job in full health from the underage innkeeper. see what else there is in this crappy little town. Ooh, weapons and armor. Well, mostly weapons. You wanna cut some motherfuckers? Ooh, shotgun. And 50 Cuban pesos. Now, let's quickly see if we can equip everybody with better gear. Okay, the bank robber has a shotgun now, too, as I'd hoped. Can't do anything with the fountain. I am the great healer. Can you heal my balls? No, because your balls are perfect. Tell me something I don't already know. You smoked a doobie and were healed. Hit points and magic points increased. Job back alley. A true treasure chest and a clown. Magical loot was found. 100 Cuban pesos were found. If you give me 5 Cuban pesos, I'll suck your dick. No. What is this? Saudi Arabia? Live a little. Okay, fine. HP and street cred increase. And there is no passageway back out of there, but. Woohoo, street cred. Take a piss, move along. Urinating in public is part of the hero's journey. Hit points increased. I'm a hole in the wall, a glorious hole in the wall. You know what to do. A magical sensation pulsates through your body. HP increased. I'm a hole in the ground, a glorious hole in the ground. You know what to do. I'm not sure if this is healing me or increasing my hit points, but fuck you. Appropriate. cannot go this way. Why? Because I don't feel like making the map bigger, asshole. Good reason. Spoken like a true GM. Okay, can't do anything with that statue. Hello, sir. Will you help me build this homeless shelter? Hell no. I may be a panler, panhandler, but I, hell, I hate handouts. Yeah, let's go with that. A simple note would have sufficed, asshole. And yeah, the first time I played through this, you could recruit them. But wait, I'm a cheaty bastard. Let's go back and do that again. Good Samaritan turned into a welfare queen. Mm. 
Mwahaha. Thanks for the handout, Buckstone. I love getting handouts so much. I will fight for you. The Welfare Queen joined the party. Yeah, all of the other people you talk to, if you agree to help them, they turn to a Welfare Queen, but this is the only one who will actually help you. Anyway, that done. I was going to see if there was anything else up on this level, but there is not. So, let's go talk to the weird green-haired androgynous person. Welcome to the Paley Center, Museum of Television and Film. Nice try. I know a crack house when I see one. Sir, I assure you, this is a reputable non-profit organization that features a cultural treasure trove for modern visual arts. Do you want this piece of crack? Yes! For the love of God, yes! And we can't read anything or take that shield on the wall. Wait a minute. I know this crack house. This isn't just a crack house. This is the Hollywood crack house. I recognize the smell of Tom Cruise's explosive diarrhea anywhere. Ahem, I think you mean Tom Cruise. You wouldn't want us putting snakes in your mailbox, would you? Look, Judge, the man sucked my dick 33 times. I think I know how to spell his name. This non-disclosure agreement clearly states that all of Mr. Sex Cruise's sexual acts, be they with human, alien, or illegal alien. Enough, I've destroyed planets, run a Ponzi scheme of Hellron Hubbard, and I still come close to unleashing the same level of misery as Tom's NDAs. Get the hell out of my courtroom. Nobody tells Buckstone what to do. What? No, I was talking about this moral lawyer arguing against. Yeah, I don't care. Show off brand new iPad for the welfare queen. This crack house is the worst. Instead of trying to suck my dick for crack, these samples and try to pitch me their god awful scripts. Buck, baby, how about I sell you the rights to this automatic blockbuster hit for a little something something? You have 30 seconds while I reload my shotgun. In a world where gotcha journalists run rampant, one heroic man has the guts to stand against these predatory journalists. Bill Cosby stars in Report This. Your 30 seconds is up. You're at least a rabid pudding pop. J.R.R. Tolkien. Would you watch a light and tasteful note film about the most beautiful creature in all of Middle-earth, the fairest maiden in all of the Elven Kingdoms? I am, of course, talking about Gollum. Oh, how I yearn to lick the sinewy muscular indent of his hip, and how I thirst for those long knobby fingers to gently tickle my butthole. Prepare yourself for Lord of the Cock Rings. I think they actually made that one. J.K. Rowling. I have a new idea for a movie about wizards. So instead of young adorable children going to wizarding school, what if it was about middle-aged women going to night school? Without going to the magic or anything, they're just going to the basic electronics repair. Sort of like a vocational school. But the only thing they learn how to repair are vibrators. And then they share their vibrators with their other classmates. Welcome to Genital Watts Academy! And I have no idea what this stuff is, but we can't click on it. Or the pile of papers, or this pile of rubble. Will Smith. I got a movie about this famous movie, Actor's Son. Everybody's like, is this son going to be a good acting? Well, here's the twist. He is. He's a fantastic actor. And all of his movies are a huge box office smash and everybody loves him. They totally, totally do. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. 
Schwarzenegger. What if we make a film about a young actor? His first movie is a very subtle, period piece about women's suffrage. The actor shows the film to his father. The father comes home late at night with the steam of bourbon and uses tampons on his breath. He beats his son since his while screaming loud homophobic slurs on the wire. His son, severely brain damaged, goes on to make several more films about muscles, robots, and explosions. He makes billions. On his father's deathbed, he reaches to hug his father, but his father just spits in his face and mutters, I never loved you. Daddy issues appeared. Hey, we just acquired Super Fuck You Rocks. Tool producer. From the creators of Ted comes a story of a little girl that wishes on a star, and her favorite toy comes to life. You see, this little girl had a clinical issue, and her favorite toy was a douchebag. That little girl and her singing douchebag were the best of friends. When she grew up, she married that giant douchebag. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West star in A Douche to Die For. You know, I wouldn't put it past Seth MacFarlane to make that one. Lickable bust of Jonathan Taylor Thomas was found. They misspelled lickable. At least I presume they misspelled lickable. Maybe that's some obscure Armenian word I'm not familiar with. Oh, hi, Buck. I have this idea for the greatest American movie ever made. There is a very great man born in America. Everybody like him. He is best husband, future husband in history of America. His future wife is so sexy woman, but she is evil like all women. Tommy Wiseau stars in Macbeth. He's based on classic Shakespearean play called The Room. The Room? The crime rates in my neighborhood triple when kids start watching that trash. A poor little baby was eaten alive on Guero Street. Ha <laughs> ha. What a story, Buck. Are you American? How dare you? I play your American football as good as Michelle Jordan. Welfare Queen now has weight at DMV. You're tearing me apart, Buck! Yeah, in case you don't get that joke, Tommy Wiseau is responsible for a movie called The Room, which is probably the most infamously bad movie made in the last 10 years. Actually, 20 years. Anyway, Jennifer Lawrence nudie pics of Josh Hutcherson were found. J.J. Abr Abrams' Guide to Lens Flares for Pedos. Well, I think we're nearing the end, so might as well use some of these items. the court summons do? Enrages enemies. Mm -hmm. 
if there is this movie about this woman that everybody loves? She adopts all sorts of cute ethnic babies from Asia and Africa. Everybody thinks she's so great, but it turns out she's just using their young, delicious stem cells to feast upon. She has found the fountain of youth, and it's on the back of innocent, young, adorable ethnic babies. Soon the babies aren't enough. It's only a matter of time before she starts devouring pregnant women. Get ready for the Womb Raider. She's also told bitch that steals husbands, too. Subtle, subtle joke there from Jennifer Aniston. Well, 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 if it isn't Buck Stone, I was getting so desperate for crack, I was about to phone home. Thank Jaws, you're here. Now that you're here, the force is with us. I'm sorry, I have no idea what James Cameron sounds like. If you didn't come, it would have been Judgment Day for uh, all of us. What's that supposed to mean? It means I, I would have murdered us all? Oh, okay, good. I thought you were being judgmental about my muffin top again. I like muffins. Shut up, Michael Bay! Speak when you're spoken to. Man, does that guy have a punchable face? That's coming from the guy that made Piranha Part 2. A giant bucket of rancid cum he is. How dare you insult the best director in the history of the universe! You should all be ashamed! Dot, dot, dot. It's true. We'll never be half the man he is. If only the good Lord gave me the smallest sliver of his towel, my wife would never have left me with a broken heart. A broken heart that feels like an empty locker. An empty, hurt locker. I tried to capture his genius, I managed it only once. It was like catching lightning in a little bottle. Well, not a little bottle, more of a glass jar. Yes, a jar jar. Enough! I have places to be and people to shoot! No, don't go! We have to tell you about our next big project! Let our hero do the honors! This tender story is about a side of our country that is often neglected and forgotten. We want to really tug at the heartstrings of America. We follow one family to show you their sad plight. See, the family's name is the Blacks. And the Blacks are a family of white billionaires that live in Beverly Hills. Billionaires are tired of people thinking they live these great lives. I mean, if the common man only knew the agony of having to decide the color of your third helicopter. Everybody thinks billionaires are evil, but when the audience meets the Black family, they'll see their life stories matter just as much as ours. They'll soon realize that Black Lives Matter! So it's a movie called Black Lives Matter, and it's about a white billionaire family named the Blacks. Isn't it genius? It's guaranteed to win an Oscar. The Academy is only progressive when it comes to nominating rich white people. But don't take our word for it. Check out the sizzle reel. And yeah, you'll see the monsters have satanic, illuminated father, plastic surgery, freak mother, inbred, acquitted, rapist son, and pill guzzling daughter. Well, there are worse things you could be guzzling. Wow! Everybody leveled up on that one. Tell you what, throw in a few dozen blowjobs and you boys have yourselves a deal. Huzzah! You gave them four pieces of crap. So where's the script? We didn't write a script, we're idea guys. Plus, none of us are technically literate. Could you write it? Here, take this old scrap of paper we'll be using for finger painting. You got the third and final piece of the Ancient Vitae Scroll! Please don't tell me my real name is Goy Von Goy, but it totally ruined my Hollywood street cred. I can't wait until I get a VR headset that lets me bang avatars. 
I bet Megan Fox is having a wet dream about me right now. I like finger painting. I drew a stick figure of big boobies. Okay, let's see what loot we got. More buck beer and penis enlarger. 500 Cuban pesos. Another shotgun. And a magical loot. You wanna cut some motherfuckers? Well, I think I've already got everything I can possibly get. Well, I can't do anything with the statue. Weak. Up ahead is Magic Portal or some bullshit. Alright. Oh, what a surprise. The Rock is back. Buck, you got all three pieces of the Ancient Vitae Scroll. Once you join the pieces together, the glowing blue swor uh, blue glowing vortex, you return to your world. Not so fast, Rock. I took this scroll. That's just an applica job application of the Sizzler. Uh, well, truth be told, the only way to escape an RPG world is to get a job. Now, most people see that as perfectly logical. But I'm smarter than your average bear. And I know there's a Shamalonian twist just lurking in the shadows. Twist? There's no twist. Then tell me why. Of all the restaurants in the world, you chose the one restaurant that actually has delicious food. Gulp. You knew that if I start working at Sizzler, that I'd be in such a state of eternal bliss that I would no longer be motivated to stop rocks from attacking the earth. You knew that as I sat at that heavenly all-you-can-eat salad bar, that nectar of the gods, I would spend the rest of my days too busy suckling upon that sweet Sizzler ambrosia that the rocks would totally destroy the earth completely unopposed. Which could only mean one thing. Uh, Buck, I can explain. You were working with the Earth Rocks all along. You both concocted this plan the moment I landed in RPG Land. You wanted me out of RPG Land so that you could rule as a ruthless dictator, and the Earth Rocks want me trapped at the Sizzler. The Rocks would reign supreme in both realms. It was all part of your master plan. But it's never going to happen. Not while there is breath in my lungs and semen in my testicles. Well, well, well. I told them it was only a matter of time before you figured it out. No matter. While you were busy gathering the scroll, I was able to regain my former powers. Nothing can stop me now. Not even you, Buckstone. My rock like the lane of RPG land for a thousand years. The rock morphed into Adolf Rockler. Behold my might. I shall crush you, Buckstone, once and for all. No, now the scientific community will never know of my groundbreaking research on rock eugenics! Well, can I click on the balls? I cannot click on the... ...balls you're doing here. You did it, Buckstone! You killed the evil rock dictator that wanted to conquer RPG land! So you brought me here to do your filthy RPG land to do your dirty work, because you knew I was the only one who could stop him. Actually, I brought you down here because I knew you were the only one who could stop her. Chevalier Twist. The Rock was a her all along. Just goes to show you, women are equal. They have every right to be as the evil and demented as man. Girl power. I'm sorry I brought you here under false pretenses, Buck. I don't really care if you bomb every mother's basement and try to fit out some of these nerds. Those weed-loving bastards keep trying to have sex with me. For saving up G Land, I'd like to reward you. Anything. Your desire is my command. Let's see, have sex with the RPG fairy or have butt sex with the RGP fairy. I think that's another glitch and misspelling there. Oh, you know what we're gonna do. 
damn it, I told you they keep having to have sex with me. What is wrong with you animals? Anyway, thank you again, but go through this portal and you'll return to your world. Don't you dare tell me what to do. Silly old Buckstone, you'll never learn. But seriously, that portal only stays open for a little bit longer. Fuck that portal. I just found a coupon on the back of the Sizzler application that Adolf Rockler may have been evil, but she sure did have great taste in fine dining. Plus, I'm not about to pass up free Texas toast for a chance to save the human race. You beat the game. Congratulations on wasting your time with us. If you like our shit, go to manversusrock.com. We got all sorts of funny shit there, like the comic book that started it all. Man vs. Rock. Plus links to our social media bullshit. If you want us to make more games and content, then show us some love and treat yourself to a comic book. Thanks for playing, you degenerates. And same credits from the, the main screen. The story, Victor Detroit and Kevin Bieber. The best dick jokes, Kevin Detroit. The shitty jokes, Kevin Bieber. The guy in control of these credits, Victor Detroit, obviously. And thank you to the fantastic artists, original art, Jared Lamp and Jeremiah Labib. Original art colors, Summer Fitzgerald and Jeremiah Labib. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Labib? Labib? Labibi? Well, anyway, that is Buck Hates RPGs, A Man vs. Rock Experience. That's it, motherfuckers. Go do something useful with your life for a change. Go rub one out. So, uh, yeah. That is Buck Hates RPGs, Man vs. Rock Experience. If you enjoyed watching me play this, well, you can go to manversusrock.com and download it for yourself, but really there's no point. You just watched me play the whole game for you, you lazy bastard. So, uh, thanks for nothing. But if you enjoy watching me play through games so you don't have to and making fun of them, uh, keep coming back to my channel, my geeky geeky ways. Which, uh, hopefully, well, you're linked to it right now. Hit the subscribe button. See you later, suckers!